guys! Welcome back to my channel! So, for today's video, again, meron tayong bagong setup. And sobrang saya ko, guys. Hindi ba halata? Pero, ayun nga, nasa other part tayo ng beauty room ko. So, dito ko hopefully ifi-film lahat ng beauty-related reviews, beauty videos. Let me know in the comment section down below kung gusto niyo yung filming setup ko and what else can I improve pa in terms of yung quality ng videos. Nag-iba kasi lahat. As in, nag-iba yung lighting ko, nag-iba yung lens ko. Sana guys, na-appreciate nyo that I'm really, really trying. Sa video na to, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga feeling kong makeup must-haves ng isang nagsisimula pa lang sa makeup. Sa ibang categories, I will give you options or choices to choose from para lang at least kung hindi kayo fan ng ganitong type of makeup, meron kayong other choices. So, ayun, ayoko masyadong mahaba yung intro ko, guys, kasi feeling ko hahaba tong video na to lalo. So, let's just get started. So, Pag beginner ka sa makeup, um, unang-unang pumapasok sa isip yung primer. Pero honestly, I don't really think primer is a very necessary step of any makeup look. I definitely think a moisturizer is better than a primer. For moisturizer, ang recommend ko si Eye White Aqua Moisturizer Whitening Vita. And sobrang inexpensive lang nito guys, pero it does the job. It creates that really smooth canvas and barrier for the skin before foundation application. Para lang at least prep yung skin mo before foundation and para lang at least pag naglagay ka ng foundation or anything on top na may color, at least meron kang layer of hydration, layer of just something para mas mag-glide ng mas maayos yung foundation mo. So this is a really good one and it's very light weight. Pwede siya for oily skin, dry skin, for all skin types. Hindi siya greasy type of moisturizer. Ang bilis niya mag-sink in sa skin and best of all, it is super affordable. So this is the best affordable moisturizer for me and sobrang bilis lang ito halapin. Nasa lahat ng Watsons available naman si Eye White. Ang dami ko mga base products guys and that is because I really wanted to give you options in this category kasi alam ko naman na iba-iba tayo ng mga preferences. Yung iba sa atin mas gusto ng BB creams, yung iba sa atin mas gusto ng full coverage. For a BB cream, my recommendation is of course my favorite BB-ish tinted sunscreen type of situation which is the Bello Sun Expert Perfecting Shield tinted sunscreen and the reason why I love this product so much is that it just never looks cakey on my skin. It's never too much but it's always enough. So lahat nagagawa niya para sa skin ko. It does cover up my redness. Alam mo yung tipo, pag hindi naman ganun kadami yung mga problems mo sa skin, kung hindi ka naman sobrang acne prone, kung wala ka naman masyadong redness issues that you wanna cover up, something like this is gonna be perfect for you kasi may even out yung skin tone mo but it's not gonna look cakey. It's not gonna look super heavy and crackly on the skin and if it fades it fades beautifully. Hindi siya yung tipong pag humuhula siya yung tipong may bitak-bitak sa mukha. Hindi siya ganun. Sobrang ganda nitong product ito kasi it's got sun protection. It's got SPF 50 and it's tone adjusting. So even though the only downside is that this product only comes in one shade, I still think it can suit a wide variety of skin tones. Isa pa palang BB cream na gusto ko i-mention yung Eye White um, na BB Holic. Sobrang nice din nun. Pero kasi ito for all skin types. So kasi it's more for dry, normal to dry skin. But this is just like, I feel like this is a product that can work for all skin types and it's amazing. Truly a beautiful, super pretty natural product. So, sa lahat ng products, ito lang yung medyo may kamahalan. But to me, this is worth every single penny. I have tried a lot of different cushions and it's very rare for me to fall in love with a cushion as much as I've fallen in love with this guy. So, this is a super face lights camera action cushion. Um, zoom in mesh cushion. This is the cushion that I'm wearing today and the color that I have is 01 light and it just looks perfect on my skin tone. So, a lot of things I love about this cushion, the first one being its color. Yung kulay ni 01 one light. It's perfect for my skin tone. I've never had a cushion that fit my skin tone perfectly. As in, kanina yung pinsan ko, titignan ako, sabi, uy, match sa'yo yung cushion. Kasi, usually, if cushions yung pinag-uusapan, it's usually more grayish or pinkish in undertone. But this has the perfect olive yellow undertone. Perfect for Pinay skin. So, sobrang ganda nung shade niya. As in, sobrang perfect nung shade for me. And then, on top of that, ito yung tipong product ko for my tamad days. As in, kung tamad ako, alam mo yung kung wala akong oras mag-makeup, ito lang product niya dala ko sa akin. Kahit wala akong kilay, wala akong lipstick, basta meron ako nitong super face zoom in mesh cushion. Sobrang ganda ng lapat niya sa skin. Yung nagustuhan ko kasi dito, hindi siya yung typical na sponge sa loob. As in, mesh siya. So, ipipress mo lang ng ganyan. And feeling ko, less yung nasasayang. Unlike if you use like a sponge base cushion. Ito kasi mesh. So, talaga may parang mesh na nakalapat dyan. So, um, underneath the mesh, meron na yung product. So, wala masyadong sayang. Pag pinest mong ganyan, isang press lang na ganito. Sobrang sakto na for the skin. And when you tap it on the skin, it almost blurs the pores of the skin. It blocks the pores. Wala akong masabing pangit sa cushion nito. As in, wala talaga akong masabing pangit. Unang-una, ang ganda ng coverage niya. It's not too much to the point that you look cakey, but 
it's enough to the point that you can use it as a concealer. You can double it up as a concealer. And second, yun nga, very versatile siya kasi with this cushion, I don't really find the need to use a concealer anymore. Alam mo yun? So parang ito minsan, doop! dot and then dug 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 and apply ko siya all over my face as both my foundation and concealer and I really just find my skin just looking really fresh and glowy all throughout the day. It lasts a great while on me. This is the only product I bring with me now when I travel and I've recently traveled a lot so ito lang talaga yung ginagamit ko as in sobra hindi na ako nagdadala ng concealer walang foundation, walang concealer and kahit na acne prone ako kahit na I still get breakouts I found this to be enough for me. I consider the coverage of this very, very high. And ang ganda ng lasting power niya, ang ganda ng finish niya. Hindi siya super matte, hindi siya sobrang glowy. So perfect for all skin types. And I feel like every skin type across the board can enjoy this product. Kung may dry skin ka, you can definitely moisturize more. And then if you have oily skin, mas magugusa mo talaga. So this is definitely something I've just learned to love even more. For me, the best cushion, as an even better than my Cosrx cushion that I really like. This one is just so much nicer kasi ang ganda ng lasting power, ang ganda ng effect niya, ang ganda ng lapat niya, ang ganda ng... Um, I feel like it really meshes well with the skin. Oddly enough, the name is Zoom and Mesh. Pero, I mean, that's a pun. It meshes well with the skin. Sobrang solid ng kosyon nito. I would definitely recommend this to anyone. I really like this as well. This is the Maybelline um, 24-hour Super Stay Foundation. So, yung color ko is 112 Natural Ivory. Ito pa rin yung favorite ko na foundation type situation. Pero, ito yung favorite ko na foundation in a bottle na may recommend ko. Um, if you're just starting out in makeup. Kasi maganda siya and very accessible siya sa Maybelline counters. And I really just like it. It's got a lot of coverage. It does look beautiful. But I have to say the finish of this is more on the matte side. So I don't really know if dry skin girls can appreciate this. I feel like this foundation is more geared towards oily skin. But this is a great foundation then across the board. Concealer tayo, Beshi. So gustong gusto ko si Maybelline Instant Adri Wine. Ito yung concealer na ipick up mo kung gusto mo ng all-in-one multi-purpose na nakaka-cover ng under eyes and pimples, blemishes, yung mga ganun. Kung gusto mo ng all-in-one. Yung nagustuhan ko dito, very thin in consistency pero ano siya, um, very pigmented mismo yung product. As in, Ang ayoko lang dito is yung sponge kasi feeling ko hindi yung masyadong madistribute ng maayos yung product. But aside from that, the product itself is really, really nice. It does last a great amount of time on me and it just does brighten up underneath my eyes. Dito sa sides ng nose ko, naka-cover niya yung mga redness. So, they're really, really great concealer, guys. Kung naghanap kayo ng, alam niyo yung parang throw-in-your-purse type of a concealer, this is great kasi mabilis lang siya i-apply eh. So, parang you can use it all around. If you're someone na wala naman masyadong breakouts or blemishes to deal with, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is great. It's a great natural concealer. Mas duwi yung finish ito kesa dito. I find this to be a little bit more on the satin matte finish. Ito, mas natural dewy finish. So, this is geared more towards yung mga no makeup makeup days. Parang ganun. Kasi very natural lang siya sa skin. Hindi siya sobrang long lasting but it does last a pretty good amount of time. Quick shout out kasi alam ko pagod na kayo na parang sawang sawa na kayo pero favorite ko pa rin talaga to Beshi. As in like, ito yung all time favorite concealer ko. Reliable concealer that does it all for me. Can be used as a foundation concealer everything. Um, the Sems Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. Very overpriced siya, I have to say, sa malls. It's 350 sa malls. Kakasya ko lang. Buy na lang kayo online. Mas muro lang siya online, guys. Pero the shade that I have is in 01. And I love this. This thing is gonna cover everything. Literally everything. And it's very, very full coverage. So, kung tipong ang dami mong mga gustong takpan, dito ka, besh. As in, dito ka. As in. And pwede rin siya underneath your eyes. Pwede rin siya on blemishes. But I would suggest this concealer most for oily skin because people with drier under eyes might not appreciate this. They might think that this is very drying. So, I would suggest na moisturize lang. Just hydrate that area. Pero if hindi nyo pa rin ma-handle, I would suggest yung fit me na lang kung dry skin kayo. Pero kung oily skin kayo, you would absolutely enjoy this. Hands down, the best concealer pa rin for me. Yung counterpart nung um, Cover Perfection, yung pot concealer niya, sobrang nice din. This is one of my favorite pot concealers. Yung tipong kung gusto mo ng less emollient, heavier duty, as in like kung meron kang spots, yung mga bumpy spots you wanna cover up first, this is what I usually use. And I really just enjoy this. I feel like kung kayo yung sobrang dami yung mga parang tigyaw, what you want dark spots, darkness, dark marks, you will absolutely enjoy this. It's such a great find and it's really affordable. Another thing I love about makeup is powders. And guys, and dami ko mga powders, Beshi. Kung tatarangin niyo ako, I think last year ata, hindi ko sure, 
Ito yung pinaka paborito ko sa lahat, especially before. Hindi ko na siya masyadong nagagamit ngayon, pero favorite ko pa rin naman siya. So, gusto ko siyang bigyan ng shoutout. Ito yung Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. Nakatatlo na ako nito, Beshi. And ilang beses ko na siyang na-hit ban, ilang beses ko na siyang na-repurchase for the sole reason that it just gives my skin that beautiful, naturally healthy look. I don't know, something about this powder just gives my skin that naturally glowy appearance. Sobrang ganda nito. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, but it's just gonna kind of magically blur the skin. It's such a great powder. Itong Wet n Wild Press Powder na Photo Focus. I think available na naman to sa malls na may Wet n Wild. So check it out. It's amazing. If you are looking for a great Loose powder, yung Nichidona Final Powder pa rin yung ma-recommend ko. Kasi you cannot beat the price. It's 150 pesos, but it does you so much. You can just use it to set all over the face, bake underneath your eyes, and just does a lot of things, guys. And I love this. I really, really think it is one of the best for its price. It's unbeatable, basically. And kung pinoy ka, kung on a budget ka man o hindi, you have to have this Nichido Final Powder. I feel like it's become a staple on anyone's makeup kit because of its price and the fact that it actually delivers. This is such a great powder. Lately, guys, I have fallen in love with this. Ito yung bago release ng Maybelline, yung Fit Me na powder foundation. Ito yung gamit ko ngayon. And grabe. Sobrang ganda nito. As in, ayan no, sobrang ginagamit ko sa. Ito yung gamit ko. Hindi ko alam kung ano meron sa powder na to, Beshi. Pero sobrang yung lakas makablur ng pores. As in, love ko pa rin to, guys. Pero ito talaga lately parang wow. Nagugulat ako kasi ang ganda niya. Tapos, ano siya, may coverage siya. As in, may coverage siya. Nakaka-brighten siya ng under eyes. Pag ginamit ko to, I use a sponge that it comes with. Kasi for me, very helpful yon And pag ginamit ko to, I just like do this set underneath my eyes and it just brightens that area immediately. This is such a great powder. Kung gusto mo na sobrang poreless yung Ichibura. I love the Fit Me range by Maybelline. I think that range is just the cult classic, cult favorite range for a reason. Sobrang takaka-blur talaga ng pores. Beshi, ibang klase yung pag-blur ng pores ito. Sobrang smooth all around. It's so smooth, your skin will thank you. Kung yung problema mo is super, super laking pores, and kung yung tipong problema mo rin yung mabilis ka magwanti ka, ito yung powder na kailangan mo. Sa pagkila, guys, hindi ako maarte. Ayun nga, sabi ko nga last year, I think, alala ko, kilay is life, but kilay doesn't need to be expensive for it to be life. Kahit na hindi, hindi nyo maintindihan, pero ganun siya. Hindi naman kailangan gumastos ng madami or hindi rin kailangan masyadong maraming products para magmukha siyang maayos. Naniniwala pa rin ako na sobrang simple lang ng kilay routine. Basta alam mo lang kung paano ginagawa yung routine, okay na. So, may recommend ko pa rin kung nagsisimula ka pa lang sa makeup, yung Miniso Mumuso Eyebrow Pencils. Ito kasi from Minnesota. As in, two years ko na itong pinag-uusapan, Beshi. And until now, ito pa rin yung pinaka may recommend ko kasi 99 pesos lang siya but it does the job. Yun lang yung pinaka importante sa akin sa kilay product is if it does the job. Ang ganda nito kasi twist siya and siya na to twist siya beshi. Um and ang gusto ko sa mis pull na siya sa kabila so it does blend out the product for you. Um hindi siya sobrang waxy and pigmented siya and nagtatagal naman siya sa akin. So napakaganda nito and for 99 hindi siya you cannot beat this. I really also like the AOA Studio Go Brow. Ito siya. It's just like a mascara for your eyebrows. Kung ikaw, wala ka naman masyadong panot sa kilay or full naman yung kilay mo, you just really wanna like um, amp them up or like give them a level up. Parang ganun. Ito yung gamitin mo kasi ang base na niyang ilagay sa kilay, nadadagdagan niya ng parang volume yung kilay mo, nadadagdagan din niya ng parang color, nadadagdagan niya na fill in niya yung brows mo without it looking like you have product on your eyebrows. So this is a very quick fix for your eyebrows if you do have that like brow hair to start with but you just really want to amp it up. This is a product I would recommend. Yung eyeliner kasi para sa hindi naman lahat kailangan ito. Pero kung ikaw yung tipong sobrang gusto mo ng eyeliner, mahilig ka sa eyeliner, itong Caroline Graphic Ink Liner Waterproof, ito maganda to. As in nice siya. This is a felt tip um eyeliner and maganda siya sa kumulay, very pigmented. Ayun, as in sobrang black na black beige and mabilis naman siyang matuyo. Um, at the same time, hindi siya mabilis matanggal. So, it's really gonna last you the entire day. Maganda lang tong eyeliner nito. And hindi ka mahirapan kasi felt tip siya. So, tuk, tuk, and you're good to go. Yung favorite part ko sa makeup, guys, is blush on. Ang dami kong mga affordable blushes sa collection ko, but I really wanted to narrow it to one. Kasi alam ko tong brand na to. And itong product na to, it's gonna suit everyone. I think no one will not like this blush. Ganun, ganun ako ka-confident. I feel like... Kailangan nyo itong itry sa life nyo. Kailangan nyo ito sa makeup kit nyo. And these are the Careline um, Oil Control Blushes. Sobrang paborito ko ito, Beshi. Ang suot ko ngayon is Peach Glow with a little bit of fresh tomato. So, napakaganda lang lapat sa skin. 
Ito yung mga blushes na magugulat ka na lang na 90 pesos lang pala. Kasi yung performance nila parang high-end. Promise. As in, ang tagal nila bago mawala. Ang ganda ng pigmentation. Sobrang smooth. Hindi powdery. Hindi chalky. Lahat ng gusto mo sa blush, andito na sa kanila. Wala akong masabing masama. As in, from the very beginning pa lang, sinasabi ko na sa inyo na ito yung pinaka-favorite ko sa affordable blushes ng Philippines. Okay din daw si Starlight Shine. Ginamit ko siya dun sa drunk blush video ko. And... It's just very, very creamy. I wish they came out with a lot more different colors. Kasi although madami naman yung colors nila, parang feeling ko kulang pa rin. Kasi sobrang addict ko dito, besh. As in, addict ako dito. Sa contour, bronzer, highlighter, meron akong dalawang parang kits na feeling ko sobrang, ano niya, feeling ko sobrang sulit for the price. Ito una yung Bobbi Cosmetics na Insta Runway Ready Contour Kit. So, nagustuhan ko siya kasi lahat, lahat, besh, andito na. Ito yung product na parang, very multi-purpose. Meron kang highlighter, may bronzer ka, may blush ka, and meron kang contour. Pero ito kasi, hindi siya contour para sa akin. Masyado siyang um, dark for a contour. So, ang ginagamit ko to pang kilay. Diba guys? Very, very multi-purpose talaga. And maganda yung formula. Sobrang smooth as in parang high-end lang. And nasa 200 plus lang to, Beshi. And apat na yung kulay mo. So, hindi ka natalo dito as in lahat feeling ko magugustuhan din to. As in, pag binili nyo ito, feeling ko may enjoy nyo siya. Parang mapapais ko yung Kumakita pa ba sila? Kasi sobrang affordable, but it, it's so nice. I feel like ever bilhin na this year talaga ang laki ng in-improve as in. Um, they came out with this EB Pro Cheek Set. Ayan. Sobrang ganda nito. I think this is $199. $199 or $249. And you get three products as well. Meron kang natural highlighter, meron kang magandang blush, and meron kang bronzer contour. And this bronzer contour is perfect. Ito yung suot ko ngayon sa cheeks ko. And ang ganda ng kulay niya. Hindi siya sobrang warm. Hindi siya sobrang gray. Cool tone. So, feeling ko I can double it up as a bronzer or contour. Like, whatever or whichever way I prefer to do it. And yung blush na maganda rin. It's a very nice natural pink shade. Um, this one. Ayan. Very ganda. Maganda besh. Ayan. Creamy. Just really nice powders. Tapos yung highlight niya, I would say is a very natural highlight. Uh, ang ganda niya. It's a very natural highlight, but it still does the highlight for you. Hindi to yung sobrang metallic highlight. Ito na mas shock ka. But it's just gonna give your skin that really pretty glow from within look. It's a great palette. I would highly recommend the EB Cheek Set. Ang ganda nito. Itong highlight na to, favorite ko siya. And before, hindi niya siya mabili sa malls. Sa States lang siya meron. Pero finally, meron na siya sa Philippines. Ito yung Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight. And the color that I have is in 50 Molten Rose Gold. Ito yung highlighter na sobrang metallic. As in, sobrang metallic ng highlighter na to, Beshi. Sobrang yung intense. Nakakagulat. Pero alam mo yung, yung undertone kasi nito, parang Pwede siya sa light skin, pwede siya sa medium skin, pwede siya sa deep skin. Ayan siya. Hindi ko alam kung kita nyo ha. Pero, napakaganda, napaka-smooth niya para siyang high-end highlighter. It performs just like a very expensive highlighter pero very affordable lang siya. And ang laki, ang laki nito, besh. Hindi mo siya maubos agad-agad kahit na um, intense ka mag-apply. Kasi nga, a little bit goes a long way because of its um, pigmentation and because of its texture. Because of how it looks on the cheeks. This is what I'm wearing right now, by the way. And I think it just looks beautiful and very ethereal. <sighs> Namiss ko mag-film ng beauty videos. Pero alam mo yung parang... Alam pa ganun ka nilang kasi parang ang dami kong gusto sabihin, besh. Na namiss ko talaga mag-film ng beauty videos, beshi! When talking about eyeshadow palettes, itong dalawa yung naisip ko. Una-una, itong si Wet and Wild. Ito yung kanilang color icon... Rosé in the Air na eyeshadow palette. Napakaganda nito. It's actually a dupe of the modern renaissance palette from Anastasia. ba? Ito parang mga nasa 2A to 3,000. This is, I think, 350 lang. And sobrang ganda nito. Pag pinakita ko yung pigmentation sa inyo, hindi nyo maiisip na parang, What? Wet and Wild to? What? 249 lang to? As in, nakakagulat siya. Sobrang ganda ng quality nito. Very blendable. And cruelty-free pa sila. So, napakaganda ng color selection niya. I feel like you can do a lot of really cool, sultry looks with this. But also a lot of very natural looks. So, if you are just starting out in makeup and gusto mo ng all-in-one palette na, alam mo yung hindi ka limited to a certain um, color palette. Kasi ang dami mong pwede pagpilian. May mga neutrals, may mga berries. Then, this is something you have to check out. Recently, may na-discover akong isa pang napakaganda ng palette na kailangan ko lang sabihin sa inyo kasi sobrang ganda niya rin. This is the EB Pro Total Effect Eyeshadow Palette. And yun nga, si Everbelen na sobrang stepping up their game. I really don't know how they're doing it, but I'm very proud of them. And this is like one of the Filipino brands na sobrang nakaka-proud kasi yung quality nila up to par na with a lot of international brands that I really like. And I'm very picky when it comes to makeup, so it says a lot. So, ito yung Total Effects Palette nila. 
And maniniwala ba kayo, 299 lang to beshi. 299 beshi. And meron ka ng 15 colors. But the quality of these shadows, nagulat ako ng sinatch ko, sobrang grabe, nakakagulat. Pag sinatch ko mga colors na to, hindi kayo maniniwala na parang, hindi naman sa parang I expected less from Everblend. I just didn't expect they were this good. Ganon. Hindi talaga ako makapaniwala na ganito kaganda. And sobrang kung beginner ka nga lang, kung tipong hindi mo alam kung anong eyeshadow palette mo, may recommend ko to kung tipong beginner ka pa lang. Kasi pwede mo siyang pag-practice-an. Pero yung looks mo is pang professional level. Hindi yung bibili ka ng palette nun sa mga SM before na palette sa parang maraming kulay pero wala lang pigmentation. Dito ka kasi, okay yung color selection niya, okay yung formula, okay yung pigmentation. And pag nilapat mo sa eyes mo, mapafeel mo na talaga, uy, ang ganda ng look mo. Hindi lang siya just an eyeshadow palette. It actually works. And it's really gonna deliver a lot of beautiful looks. So, ganda. Woo! Kita nyo ba yan? Beshi. Sobrang laki ng improvement na Everblend. I promise. Pagdating sa mascara, guys, yung nagugustuhan ko ngayon, si Maybelline Total Temptation. Sorry, guys. Ang tabi ko Maybelline. Kasi Maybelline talaga Beshi. Ang gandang brand niya and very affordable. And, lagi pa silang may sale. Pero anyway, itong si Total Temptation ng Maybelline, maganda siya. Suot ko siya ngayon. Not only does it give me the length and the curl that I like, because in a mascara, yung hinahanap ko is maka-curl yung lashes ko, yung hindi, hindi po bababa yung lashes ko. Kasi yung lashes ko very, ano siya, nakababa siya lagi. And yung tipong short and stubby siya. So, ayoko ng mascara na pag in-apply mo, nakaganon pa yung lashes mo. Siyempre, gusto ko nakaganon yung lashes ko. So, pinapaganon, pinapaganon ng Maybelline Total Temptation yung lashes ko. But the best part is, it adds volume to my lashes. So, hindi lang siya basta-basta na parang length. It adds both length and volume. Which, dun sa hyper curl, kasi more on length siya and more on natural um, mascara lang siya. But this one, you can build it up to where it looks like uh, you're wearing false lashes. And sobrang ganda ng volume and length ito. Feeling ko dupe to dun sa mga ibang higher-end brands sa sobrang mahal. Dito na lang ako sa Maybelline Total Temptation kasi it does what I really wanted to do. So, I love this. Best, patapos na tayo. Nasa lips category na lang ako. And guys, ang dami ko mga choices for lips kasi lipstick is probably one of those na parang gusto ko lagi akong creative. Different finishes, different nude colors to choose from. Kaya madami akong mga types and formulas to show you. Unahin natin yung favorite lip tints ko na affordable. Ito yung Vice Cosmetics na Water Gel Lip and Cheek Tints. And yung nagustuhan ko dito is very natural looking sila. Since sobrang natural looking nila and sobrang blendable nila. Pag blend mo siya sa skin mo, ang ganda na pagkakablend niya. As in, alam mo yung parang galing kang gym. Yung nag-gym ka, Beshi, light, natural flush of color na hindi sobrang intense. Kasi yung mga ibang lip tints naman sobrang intense. Gusto ko na lip tint na very natural lang. Yung tipong buildable but not looking na parang kung sinapak. Parang ganun. So, ito sobrang nice. So, kung affordable lipstick lang naman, may bring ulit tayo. At yung mga favorites ko sa may bring, na feeling ko magugustuhan nyo talaga. Medyo nude yung colors kasi nude kind of girl ako. Pero ito yung mga mattes nila. Ito for me, yung the best Maybelline lipsticks. Yung powder mattes and yung creamy matte. Sobrang gaganda nito. So, meron akong toasted brown. Ay, diba? Ito si toasted brown. Medyo ano siya, brown nga siya talaga, besh. Brown siya, pero hindi naman siya sobrang dark. So, feeling ko kahit na may light to medium skin ka, ma-appreciate mo to. Clay Crush, napakaganda rin. It's a lighter nude, but it's more peachy, rosy nude, parang ganon. We have chili nude. This is like a red-based, kind of warm, berry, cherry nude. Parang ganon. Hindi nga siya nude eh. Pero you can shear these out and nabibigyan niya kayo ng parang blotted effect. Napakaganda. Very, very creamy and lasts a good while. But I have to give a shout out to my favorite affordable lipsticks of all time. So far, um, ito yung Sunny's Face Lipsticks. And uh, sobrang ganda kasi nila eh. They are definitely more expensive or pricey than Maybelline. But I think these are worth it kasi they can be used as multi-sticks. So you can use it on your eyes, cheeks, and lips. And maganda talaga yung color selection. Lahat ng colors ng Sunny's Face, maganda. Walang tapon. So ito, papahita ko si Bake. Which is like a terracotta nude. Deeper nude for medium to deep skin. But of course, fair skin or everyone can pull this off. And I have milkshake. Sobrang nice ng color selection. Yung color selection siguro yung pinaka gusto ko. And yung formula. Kasi yung formula, it's very lightweight. It's like you're wearing a velvet mat. And it feels almost like nothing on the lips. Pero yung pigmentation is sobrang bonga. So definitely worth the price. I love these lipsticks so much that I bought backups. Yung limited edition nila na packaging. Bumali ako, besh. Kasi ganun ko sila kagusto. Definitely worth it for me. International level, high-end level ang performance. Pero yung price... Swak na swak. If you are looking for a liquid lipstick, although 
hindi ko siya ma-recommend kung beginner ka pa lang. Pero kung gusto nyo lang mag-try ng liquid lipsticks na okay na okay, yung Maybelline na Super Stay Matte Ink. Ito yung pinaka-okay na liquid lipstick in the Philippine market for me right now. Kasi napaka- as in, stay po talaga sila, besh. Pero ang kailangan mo is a good makeup remover. So, yung mga shades na meron ako is Driver and Delicate. Ito si Driver. It's a really light nude. Pero guys, grabe ang staying power nito. Kahit kumain ka ng um, mamantikang food, hindi siya matatanggal ng ganong kabilis. As in, sa lahat ng liquid lipsticks na meron ako, masasabi ko na ito yung pinaka- as in, nagtatagal. Ito yung si Delicate. It's also a nice, warm pink. And sobrang ganda niya. Promise. So yes, guys, that is it for my video. Kasi nag-blink na yung camera ko. Wala na akong battery. So kailangan ko nang i-wrap up tong um, kikikit video ko. Pero sana may tutunan kayo. And sana na-enjoy nyo tong video ko. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what you wanna see next from my channel. And I'll be seeing you guys on my next one.